Hi there, it's Cherie from Cherie's Crafty Girls. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to make this pretty little bag. And I won't show you what's inside, but it's a perfect fit for it. And I think it's ideal for a little Christmas present or a little thank you gift. And it's very simple to make, but I think it just jazzes up the product inside. So, to make this you're going to need a piece of cardstock, sorry I'll just turn my phone off, a piece of cardstock that measures 12 inches by 7 and 3 quarters. Taking your scoring board you are going to score, oh, oh dear, where is that? Oh it's fallen out on the floor. Right, <laughs> and your stylus. You are going to score at, with the long side at the top at five and a half and six and a half. Then turn it round so the short side is at the top and you're going to score at one inch and six and three quarters of an inch. And that is all the scoring that we are going to do. So taking your bone folder, fold and burnish your score lines. It's very quick because there's really not a lot to it. And it just brightens up the gift that's inside. Makes a, an inexpensive gift look just that little bit more expensive. I'm just going to take it out because I've only got this one left. So I'll take that out. There we go. Right, so once you've done that, you have a little square in the centre of your cardstock. And if I can find my scissors, we will just cut up the score lines tiny notch just so it makes it neat when it folds and the same on the opposite side up the score lines and a tiny notch and that's all the cutting and then all we're going to do is we're going to put some adhesive if I can get my silicon mats Put some adhesive on your tab to start off with. Oops. There we go. And fold that inside whichever flap you would like, but make sure they're both the same ones. So that's those. And then this is going to come over here, like so. But before we do that, I'm going to use some, gosh I can't think what this is called, Whisper White and just take off a length that you want for the handle. I'm going to have 15 inches. So cut your length and before you put some adhesive on your flaps Whoops, don't struggle like I'm doing, I'm making hard work of it. So, on both sides of your flap, like so, and you're going to put your ribbon on there so it sticks inside the flap. And then you just need to put a little bit of adhesive on there just so that it will stick the box closed, the bag closed. Then bring these over and they should meet perfectly on either side. And the same this side, making sure it's nice and even and beautifully aligned. And there it's the basis for your bag. And inside we're going to pop some matchmakers. 
and they just fit perfectly in there. Now you could leave it like that if you really wanted to, but I'm just going to put a flap over the top. This one, which I will retie for you, I made a mistake on. And I will show you what I've done so you don't repeat what I the mistake I made. So just pop, I'll just quickly tie that for you. Or I will try to tie it quickly, you know what I'm like with bows. So you have your matchmakers inside and you would tie your ribbon. There we go. That'll do, I'll tidy it later when I put the other box of matchmakers. But I put my flap on the, the back of the box. It just needs re -adhering. So do be careful that when you cut out your flap, which I used on this one, the Banners Framelit dies. Now you can use, in the catalogue, you have a whole bunch. I can quickly find them. Should have marked it. You have squares, ovals, hearts, or the lots of labels. Now you could use any one of those because all you're going to do is cut out, or on your big shot, putting this through your big shot, you're going to just make a top that is whatever width you want to fold over. So making sure that that's the back. Pop, I'm going to use the reverse pop your label on and just make sure there's enough just to hold it at the back and I just give it a little fold so I could see where it needs to be then taking my bone folder I then reinforced those creases so we know that they're going to be in the right place now so just reinforce those with your bone folder some adhesive on the small section and you pop that back onto your bag making sure that's the back because that's where the seams are so you want to realign those making sure it's in the center and just seal that down like so and there's the flap of your bag perfectly aligned which I think is super, super duper. Then what I did next, I've gone ahead and I have punched out, stamped and punched out my reindeers. And I did that using the cookie, cu cookie cutter punch and I stamped it out using the cu cookie cutter Christmas. I used the reindeer and I just coloured him in a little bit to give him some definition and then I punched him out as I say with the matching punch and I'm just going to pop them on some dimensionals either side there so if I find my dimensionals see so if you see him in that way you can see his uh, the gingerbread man, can't you? Shall I bring you down just a little bit? You can see he's the gingerbread, gingerbread man shape. But I wanted it as the reindeer, so I've turned it upside down. And I'm just going to pop him one in that corner. And one in that corner. Like so. I think, yes like so and then I went ahead and using the same um, same set I used the warm heartfelt greetings for a, for a very Merry Christmas and I cut that out punched that out using oh, they're all over the place using the bunch of banners frame dies and I used this one so I put that through the 
big shot on some whisper white and I'm just going to use some of the edging of my dimensionals to pop in the centre of that. That will give that a little bit of dimension there. If I can get it straight that would help. Now what I was going to do using another die set it's called the Cheerful Tag Thinlet Dies. I'll just quickly show you inside. You have quite a lot in here. So you have two, three labels and then all your accessories. And I originally cut out or put through my big shot this one which I think is super. It's got to and from and it's got this beautiful little um, decorative panel but I thought that was going to be too big once so I put it on there so I put that to one side and I made this beautiful little the little one which I think is really sweet and I'm going to tie that on the bell on the bow rather and that also has to and from so I need to make sure that's the right way don't I so that says to and from and that's also from the same framing set and I used these lovely little mini pine cones actually and so you get an awful lot and then look at that they are so sweet so cute and I'm going to tie them on with the trio Baker's twine trio pack you get the cherry cobbler garden green and the gold which I think is super and the colour I used for um, the sentiment and this colour in here was Tip Top Taut, which was also the cardstock I used here. And the DSP stack is from Presents and Pinecone. Right now, just to finish it off, we need to put a couple of holes in so you can eyeball this. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to go up and I'm going to... About there, and about there, and then just to make sure that I get it right on the box, I'm just going to pop it down, mark where the holes are, take my matchmakers out, and punch the holes. One there, one there, and I'm also going to use the quarter inch circle punch, and I'm just in the centre of those. I'm going to put a little thumb notch, which makes it a lot easier for when I put these back in. Now, where's my ribbon? So you're just going to take some matching ribbon, come through the top. This is probably going to be a little bit wide, but that's okay. We'll manage, won't we, somehow? So pop that through, through the top, from outside, inside, it's a bit fiddly but that's okay, it is a bit thick actually, so I'll tell you what, because that's a little bit too thick for those holes, I'm going to use another one of our beautiful ribbons which is um, the silver. I think that'll be quite, quite pretty too, but it'll be a better, it won't be quite so thick, so that'll be nice. So through the top, outside, inside of your bag, then inside, outside, I do make things look really difficult and they're really, really not. It's, it's only when I'm on camera that things sit, tend to go a bit array. I don't know why. I think it probably is that my camera likes you to have a laugh. Seriously, it's not this difficult. 
Now before you come up to your top, pop in your, pe your matchmakers, pop them in, bring this underneath your flap at the top and push it out and then cut your length of ribbon and try tying a bow. Very generous with the ribbon, wasn't I? That's okay. Oh, I'd love to be able to do a bow so easy. But I do struggle every time. There. Is that bow, if I could just get it nice and tight. There's a pretty little bow. I'll shorten these up a little bit. That's not very good, is it, after all? There. Just shorten that. And that. Like so. And then I'm just going to make sure this is the right way round. Like so. And I'm just going to put the back one underneath the back of the ribbon, the bow. If I can, just push that through there so I can grab that in, like so. And I'm just going to tie a little knot so it stays together, even that I'm struggling with, dear Lord. Okay, we're just going to have to do it this way because it's just been awkward. I'm not special, honestly. I really do. don't know why I have so much trouble on camera because I, I honestly don't when I'm making them at, at home. So there's your little tag with your lovely little pine cone. Cut off these excess bits so it looks a bit neater. There. Isn't that a lovely sweet little box? Or a little bag. And there's one. So I've got to put another box in there. But I think they're super bags. Ideal for making matchmakers just look that little bit more special. Well I hope you like this tutorial. If you have please like and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like to purchase any of the products used in this pro products used in this project, uh, there's I have a 24-hour shop both on here. There's a link below and on my blog. If you'd like to come and join my team, there's also a link below and one on my blog. All the measurements and all the details will also be on my blog, which is um, Cherie's Crafty Girls. Uh, blog.wordpress.com come along and have a look you can follow me there as well so until next time take care bye